This is a short tutorial that will introduce you to five quick tips for producing better charts and graphs. A Google image search will quickly reveal that we have no shortage of bad charts in the world. You've surely seen your share in any number of presentations, posters, reports, or articles. I dare say we've probably all been guilty of making a chart that didn't get our point across in the best way. Why is this? Well, one big reason is that when we're using any product that generates graphs or charts for you, in this case, Microsoft Excel, the fastest, easiest, and most tempting thing to do is just go with what the tool recommends as the best option. After all, it says recommended charts right there in the menu. Doesn't that mean it's the best choice? In a word, no. Or better, stop. Stop using the defaults to generate charts and graphs that make it so difficult for your audience to get your point. You can do better. How? Well, here are five quick tips to help you make your charts clearer, easier to understand, and quite honestly, simply more appealing to look at. Declutter. Label directly. Title effectively. Use color wisely, and perhaps most importantly, if you don't need a chart or a graph to get your message across, don't make one. Let's look at each of these one at a time. First, declutter. Default charts are filled with things that are unnecessary. Legends, axis labels, grid lines. Unless these things truly have a purpose in your chart, delete them. In the case of a simple bar chart like we have here, I don't need the grid lines, and as you can see, by following the second tip, the axis labels only cause a reader to look back and forth, left to right, right to left, to figure out what the bar represents. We can fix this. By employing tip number two, label directly. By putting the data labels directly with the bars, it's much easier and faster for the reader to get the message. There's also no guessing between, say, 45 and 50%. In the chart with lines and axis labels, you could see that the reference services accounted for something more than 45% and less than 50. Here, we're telling the reader that the exact percentage is 46. I also chose to give my bars some heft here. Why must they be so skinny and far apart from one another? Give your bars the weight they deserve. Next, how about the title? The default title Microsoft Excel supplies is the label from your data table. That's not really very helpful. And you have plenty of space here to reinforce in words what the visualization is saying in bars and numbers. Think of your chart title like a newspaper headline or a figure label. Let it get your message across clearly. Use color wisely. These charts have all been in black and white, but it's okay to use color, particularly when you use it to really highlight the message you're telling with your data. Here, I want to show without any question that reference services take up the most time for my library staff. By giving this point of reference, no pun intended, color and adding the color to the word in the title, I've done double duty when it comes to using this data visualization in a clear, succinct, and effective manner. But what if that's all I really want to say from this data? I just want to show that we pretty much devote half of all library staff time to reference services. Do I need to show this in context to the other services? Does it matter how much time is devoted to them? Well, it depends, of course, on what you really want to say with the data. Maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. And if it isn't, then always remember that if you don't need a chart or graph to tell your story, don't make one. Skip it. Save your time for something better. Here, all I want to show to my audience is, is that this one service of the library, reference, takes up almost half of everyone's work time. I can, if I want, and if it makes the most sense, make my visual as simple as this. The half circle doesn't mean anything any really in the sense of a pie chart or such, but it's clearly representative of a half, and it couples well with the message. 
no chart needed here. So, to recap, remember that the out-of-the-box suggestions and solutions for charts in Excel and most other graphing tools aren't always the best. You can do better. Simply follow these five tips to make your charts and graphs more effective in telling the story you want to tell with the data that you have. Declutter, label directly, title effectively, use color wisely, and remember, if you don't need a chart, skip it. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. It's part of a series on data visualization prepared by the librarians in the Research and Scholarly Communication Services Department of the Lamar Souter Library, University of Massachusetts Medical School. Please check out the other tutorials in this series, available now and always growing in number, to learn how to make better charts and graphs in your work. Thank you.